This is my take on our laptop plate. It features 104 3816 holes, uh, 93 quarter 20 holes uh, mount for the uh, LSDG Arca Swiss mount. Um, and I've got two of the uh, anti twist uh, RE locating pin mounts. It's 1200 grams, so 2.65 pounds or about 34% lighter than uh, typical digiplate. Let me show you a close-up of some of the features that I'm really proud of. The uh, pass-through area for cables on the side, these are actually uh, filleted, so they're really comfortable to hold as well. Um, it makes for a great pair of side handles. Uh, same with up at the top. This is filleted. It's really nice. It's got a nice hand feel, so when you're carrying it, uh, it's comfortable. So this is that uh, LSDG mount. This is a, a really tricky thing for me to solve, in particular this uh, screw setting here. But as I'll show you, the screw drops in perfectly and sits flush. And then the mount itself, it fits here perfectly. On the back side, this is actually one of my discoveries in kind of iterative design, uh, iterative design. These mounts are all spaced perfectly for um, my favorite hard drive caddy, the Fannie Mae caddy. Um, as you can see, you can mount them in a whole bunch of orientations, however you need. And something that's uh, especially nice at this point the uh, the receiving holes are a bit chamfered so that these screws that are included sit tight and there's no play once they're tightened. If we were to go to check out these two RE locating um, connection points. You need a 3 8 to quarter 20 reducing uh, bushing um, and I'll be including two of those with each plate. And then the arm I was using to model this after is the uh, the flex arm from Shape. So they have um, RE locating pins I think in a standard arrangement and these are quarter 20 uh, mounts at both ends. So we just put them in here and tighten down. I think that's in there pretty well. You can see it's a nice clean fit. I want to see it from the other side. There's a, um, I think an opportunity to tighten this even further with a hex key there uh, if you need to, but hand tightening should be fine. Um, it's a really solid connection. Doesn't uh, doesn't move at all. If I you know put a little bit of effort into moving it, it just doesn't doesn't go anywhere. So perfect for mounting your you know side viewing monitor or router or something like that. Okay, a couple of other things I want to talk to you about that I'm working on. This is going to be my bracket and thumb screw system. I have in comparison the ones from Mule. And uh, I don't have the rubber on mine yet. I'm still testing them out. But uh, I just don't understand if uh, we're trying to go for lightweight, um, why everyone's making these things so big. Similarly, I'm a big fan of the get yourself some feet by buying some inexpensive uh, <laughs> baby pins. But again, too long and huge. Uh, and I think I don't need anything this long 
but I also can't get anything shorter that's relatively inexpensive. So what I've been working on is a set of legs that are modeled after a baby pin, but are about three inches deep. Also, the male threading is um, just shy of a quarter inch, so it doesn't come up through the plate and scratch the underside of your laptop, which is what happened to me. So you have a look at this foot here. Um, I had a design that I was working on that was hybrid. It was female threaded, and you would use a 3 eighths to quarter 20 reducer if you wanted these as quarter 20. But I think I'm just going to do these, these 3 eighths. Um, for the final release because it's just more efficient and I think people would complain about having to carry around a bunch of additional small parts. Um, and I might, you guys tell me, I might plasti dip the feet, um, but otherwise they're nice, uh, you know, nice rounded edges, nothing sharp there. And what I like about this is that, sure, you can get a set of four and use them as the feet for your plate. But you could also just, you know, farm them out to being like a, a mount on top of your plate for something else because they work as a baby pin. So just to give you a proper sense of proportion and placement, I've gone ahead and kind of thrown it together with the brackets real quick. So like I said, the brackets aren't final. The edges are a little sharp. Um, this is a 16 inch uh, M1 and uh, you know design tension here was could I build it to accommodate a 16 inch M1 which a lot of us are working from but I also wanted to shrink the exterior a little bit so that it would fit in a Pelican 1510 so you'll see of course the problem that that creates is would there be enough space at the back of the laptop to make carrying it easy and I have pretty big hands and they clear easily so it's comfortable carrying there or at the sides, of course. And here's the uh, brackets and thumb screws. So there you have it.